Hello, it's Ashley here from Pay to Fine. I hope you are all well. It is half term here in Warwickshire this week, which is lovely. Um, as you may know, there's been a bit of radio silence for me because I'm back at teaching at um, a school four days a week. Oh my word, it was exhausting, but um, quite enjoyable. Had its challenges, but quite enjoyable. Anyway, I thought I'd come on and do my tag for hashtag PT Tag Club. Um, I've got some threads. That was one of the prompts. You know me, I like to just do one prompt for, um, one tag for the prompt. And I've pulled out some cakey papers. So I have seen that some people have used this Stamperia paper already. And I must apologise if you can hear the washing machine. I'm really, really sorry. Um, yeah, so I thought, a mm, bit of chocolate cake, that's quite nice, isn't it? And I've got some papers, yeah, people have used, people have used that. I've got this, but actually, I don't like the colours. So, I could, I could just eat one of those, so could you, a blueberry muffin? Mm, I could eat one of those, that's nice, isn't it? So, I'm not going to use that, I'll put you over there. And then I found this journaling card which says, let them eat cake. It was the thing that came into my mind when I thought about cake and threads. I thought, oh, let them eat cake. And I was going to look in my Eni Blyton book to see if I could cut out the words. But I'm going to use this as something. And, um, oh, it's more paper there. And that's from this la lovely, lovely. <laughs> Get your words out, Ashley. That's from this rather lovely Graphic 45 paper crafting thing it's called gilded lily it's donkey's years old i got this from create and craft back in the day i've got an eight by eight actually that's the point i could have looked for that instead of the 12 by 12 oh that's not that that's something else that's botanica botanica bella collection i did love that but oh and that's something else as well oh look there's some little let them eat cakes oh i might I might have one of those actually. Yes, I'm gonna have a bit of that for something. Um, and I've just realized I haven't got everything that I need. So I'm gonna go and get it and pause you. Do you wanna see a picture of the cat? She's fast asleep on the chair. back it's not very good is it you can't see and i've got shadow light isn't very good let me just see if i can straighten you up a little bit that's a bit better isn't it what's sticking out there is it these i think it's these oh anyway oh it's that right so i have cut myself two pieces of card when in fact actually i cut three i think they were four inches by five and a half yeah, and I've stuck two together because I wanted something that was a bit sturdier. So you've got 600 GSM there, more or less. And I thought, I'm not very good at this, but I thought I'd have a go at doing some thread wrapping. So this is my front here. Oh no. I am going to do thread wrapping, but I um, want to put some colour on my card first because I won't be able to do that when the thread's done. So I've just got a couple of neutral colours that I think are going to go with everything. I've got a bit of antique linen and I've got a bit of speckled egg. And I have got a Timmy stencil, if I can find it. Here it is. It is a layering stencil. What's it called? can't see flourish and i'm going to cut the top off this this is what i've been doing i should get one of those um ring things that tim's got and put them all on a ring okay yeah so anyway yes i've, I've stuck my two bits together punched a hole in already we'll have this as the front because i like the way that the hole is and i'm going to just very carefully with this i don't even know what colors on it i'm going to do a bit of background 
just a little bit of subtle because it kind of picks up on that gilded lily bit. Just very, very subtle. Can you see that? Not very well. The light is appalling. Let me just see if I turn this light off, whether it's any better. I have a headlight. It's a bit better. Less shadow, isn't there? It's a funny old day. I do need to get my lighting for filming sorted out, that's for sure. And I think we'll just go around the edge a little bit with a bit of this. There we go. Right, that is that. Can you see that standing out on there a little bit now? It's just very, very, very subtle. I don't need you anymore, so you can go on the floor. Now, the other thing I want to do is add some marks. And um, I think I'm going to go with this one here, or this. I don't really know. So I bought these a while ago from Art From The Heart and I haven't used this set. I saw that I used another one. Yes, I'm going to go with this one, I think, with a little bit of antique linen. Because that would blend in quite nicely with whatever it was that I'd had on, um, on my brush just inking up and um, I'm not going to be too precious about it they could be like little stitch marks couldn't they little embroidery marks if anybody's watching and I don't suppose anybody is you've all got much better things to do that's quite nice I quite like that um, I need to give you an update on the prizes for my giveaway what I did my glad to be alive challenge so Jessica Marvel I have this on this one. I have um what have I done? <laughs> Get your words out, Ashley. Honestly. Dear me. I want second generation of this because I don't want it to overpower. Um I have finished knitting your little bear. And oh my, I think he's one of the nicest bears that I've ever done. Um, he hasn't got any clothes yet. I need to decide what I'm going to um, do him. So, Jessica, if you happen to be watching, are you happy with just a scarf? Because I don't want to cover his body up, really. I have a bit of crossy over there. I quite like that. What are we thinking for the background there? Can you see it? Not very well, no. Um, and I want a little bit of text over this now. I do love this mark making set. I don't want to go too mad because we are going to add little bits and pieces to this, like some thread, um, like my little sentiment. And I've got an idea for the back as well. You go in there like that. Here you go. That's it. You can go on the floor. Um, right. What am I after? Yes. I've got this big text stamp here and I think I'm going to do antique linen. This is on the entomology set. I've decided with all this packaging, because I like to keep things in its packaging, I'm cutting that top bit off and leaving this bit done up at the bottom. Right, so antique linen and I think I might even just go... Um, second generation and it's just a little little suggestion so we we'll just go ba -dump, ba -dump, ba -dump, ba -dump. that's no good Ashley because you didn't actually ink there so yes it's Tuesday I'm hoping to get this up today I've spent some time planning some lessons for next week. I think I pretty much know what I'm doing. Um, I have done all my marking of the books that I brought home, four sets of books, and I'm 
feeling quite ahead of the game, which is good. I've got to read the year eight and year nine scheme of work. But I think I'm getting there. And I should be counting off the days. I really like that background, guys. I really like that. Can you see it? I hope you can. Right, so now we're going to do a bit of thread winding. So this I inherited from my mother-in-law. It's crochet thread. And what I'm going to do, actually, let's just cut the end of that so it's neat. Um, it's a shame this has been left out in some sun or some light or something, and it's different colours, um, but it doesn't matter. That's why I am, um, what do you call it? Need a bit of tape. Hold on. Oh, I've just kicked the end of it. Blue's woken up now. She's seen some yarn and she's thought, oh, I could play with that. Little minx that she is. So I want to anchor this end down here. And I'm just going to put a bit of this white tape over the bottom just to anchor that down there and then I can get some winding done. And I don't even need to glue it down. I'm not very good at this. I've never really done it before. Let's have a look and see what we like. Let's come around there. Do I want to go down the bottom? I'll do one more. Oh, I like that. I quite like that. I was going to use some of this as well, but I don't think I want to spoil it by introducing another colour. And I do like this thread. It's kind of got this little effect where it's got, it looks like it's got a little bead threaded on it, but it isn't. So what I want to do now is anchor that there. And put another little bit of tape over that and I'm going to just pull it tight so that it is tight. Gosh, it's amazing how, how quickly time goes on these videos. If I was cleverer, I would kind of speed it up in the editing process. Right, so that, mm, hold on, ang fire, ang fire, it's too loose, I want to keep it quite taut. Why is that not, mm, maybe somebody could leave a comment and tell me why. It's too loose. Sun's coming out again now. Right. I'm going to put that there. Let's just put that on top of there so it doesn't wander and get some more tape. And I'm going to, oh, sticky bit. I'm going to anchor that there. And then I'm going to just trim that on the back. Now, I found my little, um, I couldn't find my 8x8. Maybe I'd used it all. Um, but I've got this I'm going to put on the front in this kind of little let them eat cake let's give that a little bit of a and then what i thought if i can find it where's she gone there it is i was going to make this into a pocket at the back like so so i can put my little um what do you call it in 
my little my little prompt off Anthony. So I'm gonna use this because I think it'll work over that thread rather than glue. Yes, I was telling you about updates to my giveaways prizes, wasn't I? Yeah, so I have made all the boxes and all the papers. I think I said that in all in, in my last video. I have started Sherry's socks. I've got the yarn for Kaz 0518 socks. I've cut out all the boxes for the box of cards and I've cut my card blanks for the 24 little 3 by 3 cards that I've got to make. So I'm getting there. Next major job is the um, uh, the albums, the Alice album for Kaz and the A to Z album for um Jessica so I think my aim because of working hold on I want to put a little oh do you know I've put that in the wrong place never mind because that'll that'll um help what you call it strengthen the top I want to put a little doobry firkin thumb hole in let's see if this will work so I just want the merest little There. If it's off, it doesn't really matter. Oh, that doesn't work. Oh, yeah, so I need to get another one inch hole punch. Let's see if this one works. Okay. There we go. So I've just got the merest little thumb notch there. I didn't want to eat too much into the paper and I've got I've got tape on the wrong bit but it doesn't matter because it'll act as a reinforcer it will it'll act as a reinforcer so let's put you down here like so and then we can take this backing off and put this in as a little pocket and then we can work on the front right by jingo we can yes oh yes i was saying about the little bear i love the little bear do you want to see him he's over here um so jessica if you're watching look away now but here is the little bear love him love him love him he's very different from um he's I, I wanted to make him tall and thin um rather than short and fat because he fits with the character but yes he's quite heavy and his little legs move and his arms move but he's quite like antiquey bear so I don't want him to I don't want to cover his belly up. Yeah I like him. I like him. He is somebody from Criminal Minds, Dr. Spencer Reed, yeah. So Jessica, you can you can look now. You can you can look. I've taken him away. But yes, I want you to tell me what you want him to wear, whether you want just a scarf. I think just a scarf. I've got some really nice pretty yarn for a scarf. Because you don't want to cover up his, his body really. So yes, let me know, please. There we go. That's three sides. And I've got my little thing there. And all my workings are hidden. So just do that like that. It's a good job this tag hasn't got to go anywhere, isn't it? I like that, you know. Right. Um, now, we were going to have a let them eat cake. I think we'll put you there like that. And I might put you on a... I might mount you up and then that will kind of secure those bits there. And then we need a little picture of the cake, don't we? I wanted this chocolate cake, but I think it might be too big. Let's see what else we've got. Do you know what? As this video is already really long, I think I'm going to find a bit and come back to you. So I decided I would just fussy cut this cake here. And... 
There we go. I do like my little Timmy Holt scissors. So I'm going to stick you in the centre like that. Oh, I like this. It's very subtle. And I'm going to use some collal to stick this down now because I want to make sure that those threads don't move. So I'm going to stick that kind of central like that. And let's get, um, let's get a block just to stick that down like so. And then I'm going to mount this little bit up on some foam pads. Yes, I am. And then that's it. Gosh, it was a bit of a palaver, wasn't it? Oh, and I've got something else I want to show you as well. Let's just get this on and then I can show you. And we need to have a little tidy up. And then I can crack on with decorating my little card boxes for Sherry and Kaz and Jessica. Let's pop you there like so i'll do a little titivating before next week so look at the state of my hands i have been cleaning and i'm hopeless i don't wear gloves when i'm cleaning i hate wearing gloves yeah so my hands are a mess but there we go look shall we, shall we move a little bit of stuff out of the way so you can see let the dog see the rabbit let the dog see the rabbit and then I've got this here. This is the little box of um, envelopes that um, Anthony, Daft Dog Crafting, made me. And I shall find the envelope that's got the prompt in and stick it in my little pocket there so I know what it was. Let's just write the date on the back. So it is... Um, oh, 31st. 30, 31, 10, 2... Three. I enjoyed that little pither. And I shall put some stuff in there. Cake and threads. Woolly stuff thought it said threads. <laughs> I am going to leave that stuck down a bit more though. Right. I just want to show you this. And if you easily offended, um, look away now. Harry asked me to make a birthday card for one of his mates. Charlie. He's known Charlie since he was in year seven at school. So 12 years or something. Um, and it's his birthday. And he said, can you make a card for Charlie? But I want it to be rude. And I said, well, what do you mean by rude? And he didn't really tell me. So I came up with my own thing. And um, as I say, if you're easily um, offended, look away now. So I've made an envelope and um, it reversible paper it says ha 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 and i've just used a bit to put on the bottom there and you can write the name there but i love this because it's quite subtle i'll put it down so you can see better so it says happy birthday this is one of my brush backgrounds on watercolor paper and um i haven't got a cactus stamp so yeah um i've got these teasels and thistles so um i stamped them and then die cut this um vase and i'd stenciled it it was really nice and bright and white and yellow but then i've put glossy accents and the color smudged what i should have done is put micro glaze over it first and then i'd have got a more of a pattern on that so it says happy birthday you old prick <laughs> so yeah i was quite amused by that i did make another one as well um but I think I think I might give that to my husband for his birthday. So I'll show you that after the, after the event. I'm going now because I've been on ages. It was only supposed to be a really really quick one, and I need a cup of tea. Um, comment down below. Halloween, yes or no? Um, I'll be back soon. Take care. Bye now.